Our ultimate objective in this region is to build a replacement for a way station that was lost to the TAR. The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists on the chiral network. Now, we don't know the first thing about Emily's status or what Higgs is up to. Now, that's a concern for us as much as you. But we won't know more until we get to Edgenot City. And that means connecting this region first. You should start with the geologist and the paleontologist. The latter's holding something for the Evo Devil biologist, so I recommend you save her for last. That way, you can finish a delivery and link up the final site in one go. Once all three are on the grid, come back here. Then we can get to work on the replacement for that lost way station. Thermal pad. Indispensable gear for cold weather operations. Especially useful when traversing snow-capped mountains. A geologist of ours has been studying fossils as part of his research into prehistoric extinction events. He's been out there conducting excavations for a while now and has begun to suffer the effects of chiral contamination. No doubt the result of excessive exposure to chirelium during the dig. Until the site is properly decontaminated, his work can't proceed. Nor will his health improve. So we need you to bring him some chirelium scrubbing agents. The strata the team was investigating dates from the end of the Cretaceous period, the time of the infamous mass extinction, which brought the reign of the dinosaurs to a close, leaving small mammals to inherit the Earth. It's the most recent of the Big Five, and one of the largest mass extinctions the world has ever seen. In any event, our team found something truly remarkable. Can you guess what it was? A fossil beach. If that is indeed what it is, then he has made a tremendous discovery. Therefore, Sam, it is essential that you deliver those Chirelium scrubbing agents as soon as possible.
region is rich in memories of death and extinction. It should come as no surprise that BTs are sighted here more frequently. Perhaps you recall the models in my lab. Their designs were all based on eyewitness accounts. Though I suppose they must have struck you as strange, considering the many times you've come face to face with the real McCord. <laughs>
Express ID verified. All weapons will remain locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. you doom sufferers see that end of day stuff i put the nightmares down to fatigue a uh, possibility of chiral contamination never even occurred to me uh, it's just lucky we caught it before the suicidal stage dying's not an option my research is nowhere near complete it's not just my life you're saving here it's my life's work i really appreciate you doing this you know it can't have been easy coming here on your own. Thank you, Sam. Do the honors. Just like that, I'm part of the UCA, with access to a treasure trove of historical research materials. Studying this fossil beach should be a good deal easier now. Assuming I can prove once and for all that that's what it is. Honestly, though, I'm just excited I can finally share these findings with everyone. Can you believe I found chiral deposits and strata dating back 65 and a half million years? Evidence of an ancient death stranding. Chiral matter has existed on Earth since long before the dawn of man. This stratum is proof of that. 
Look at this, Sam. Do you see that black fissure there? We believe this is the source of the Kyrelian readings. In the distant past, earthquakes caused frictional melting along fault lines, producing layers of what is known as pseudotachylite. We call these layers fossil earthquakes. Extending the principle, our fissure here is what one might term a fossil beach. The presence of Corellium in this of all strata cannot be a mere coincidence. It strongly suggests that beaches must have appeared during the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. And not just then. The Chiral Network has recovered data suggesting that similar fossil beaches were discovered in strata corresponding to other extinction events too. That would seem to indicate the Big Five and all other major extinctions were accompanied by the appearance of beaches. In expanding the Chiral Network, you've helped us glimpse a pattern in these scattered points of data. You've furthered our individual research projects and ensured that it is only a matter of time before we recover all we have lost and solve every mystery that remains. But this is only the beginning. See this through, Sam, and there's no telling what we might learn. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information.